Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Indu Jain, Assistant Professor, B.A. Department, IMT College of Science and Technology. In the previous session, I already explained the meaning of teaching strategies or teaching methods. Further, I also explained lecture method and demonstration method in detail. In this session, I will explain the next method of teaching that is the project method of teaching. So today our topic is project method of teaching. This project method is a very effective and uh, engaging method of teaching. It is based on experience-centered learning and helps students to socialize easily as it is a group method. The project method is an alternative classroom model that gives more focus on the aspect of student learning rather than the teaching aspect of the lesson. It mainly emphasizes trusting the students not and not imposing a learning style onto them. Means in project method of teaching, students learn by their own and teachers has the responsibility of a guide. The responsibility of the work falls directly on the students since even the curriculum content and techniques are considered from a student's point of view. Means all the curriculum for this project method of teaching is designed according to the student's need. So this method is completely a student-centric method. Now, first of all, we will discuss what is the product project method of teaching. The project method of a teaching is a medium of instruction in which the students are given a number of projects or situations out of which they have to choose the problem they want to solve. Means students select uh, the problem according to their will. After the students have chosen the problem, they want to solve it. So they will have to come up with a solution to the problem on their own. This is one of the most proactive approaches to the problem on their, uh, sorry, this is the one of the most proactive approaches to learning. The teacher, in the case of the project method of teaching, has the role of a guide, then a dictator. So, this type of teaching methodology is democratic in nature. In this method, teacher guides the class through the lesson at their own pace. Who developed the project method of teaching? This project method of teaching is propounded by or discovered by W. H. Kilpatrick, William H. Kilpatrick. He formulated, developed, executed, and perfected the project method of teaching. Even though it is deemed to have been proposed as a concept Back in the year 1908, as a means of improving the methods of teaching agriculture. So, this method is developed for the improvement in the teaching of agriculture. But Kilpatrick is credited with elaborated, elaborating upon the concept and popularizing it worldwide. In his famous article, The Project Method, which was published in the year 1918. So, the main credit goes to Kilpatrick for the development of project method. Now, here are some steps of project method of teaching. The first one is, as we have already discussed, the first one is the to select the problem 
or we can say that the project selection. This is the first step which involves picking out the project work. The students are presented with various problems and they are required to select a project that provides the greatest value and addresses a specific practical requirement. Throughout this process, the role of teacher is to act as mentors, guiding and encouraging the students to make informed decisions based on their skills and interest. Means teacher only play the role of a guide or mentor to encourage students to do certain activity to solve the particular problem. After selecting the problem, the next step is the planning. In the planning phase of this method, that is the project method, students are required to create a plan for the project work where the teacher can guide them. Again, the role of teacher is of guide and also raise objections if required and problems that can occur in the project. In the project method of teaching, students can bring together their views and create discussions and complete the projects by learning practical skills as well as teamwork. Means throughout the plan, teachers guide the students and solve their problems or uh, certain uh, weaknesses in the ongoing project. The next step and the very important step is the execution of the uh, project method in teaching or we can say the teaching learning process. After the planning phase comes the execution phase where the students start working on the project. The students assign duties to one another on the basis of their interest and capabilities. Each student will make a unique contribution to the project which may involve activities such as collecting data, conducting site visits, researching information and studying historical records. Here the, all the activities which are required to solve a particular problem are done by the students themselves. Then what is the role of the teacher? The teacher assumes the role of a guide once more, furnishing students with the required knowledge and guidance to stay on the correct path. So a, student, a teacher guide the students on a correct path. Further, after the execution, Evaluation is must, otherwise all the activities are useless without evaluation. So the final stage of the project method of teaching is the step of evaluation. After completing the project as planned, the teacher conducts a comprehensive review of the entire work, assessing the performance of each student, each and every student what the student has done uh, in the ongoing process, it is evaluated by the teacher. During this evaluation, any mistakes made during the process are documented, documented for future reference so that these mistakes will never do again uh, when doing this project method of teaching. And last, and the very important uh, step in this project method of teaching is the reporting and recording. In this stage, every student or every, every student report and record the average step of the work 
and uh, sorry in the form uh, in a book format in a specific order this report must encompass the proposal plan deliberations duties assigned to each student and the extent to which they completed them so uh, in the reporting phase students record all the activities in the file form or in the book form uh, like planning deliberations duties assigned to different students and the extent to which the activities are completed by that particular student it should also include information about the places visited and surveyed recommendations for the futures and any other relevant details means all the detailing in the is done in the book form at the conclusion of the project this book formatted report is submitted to the teacher for evaluation so further evaluation is finally done by the teacher Now, there are certain types of project methods of teaching. Kilpatrick, who is the proponent of this method, classified the different types of project method into four types. First one is constructive method. In constructive project method, the learners are instructed to construct something related to social life, such as models, maps, charts, parcels, and so on. The second method is artistic method. In this type of teaching, is, uh, such type of teaching is generally employed in the field of aesthetics and arts, such as music, fine arts, culture, literature and so on so such type of uh, uh, projects include the aesthetic value next one is problem solving method problem solving method is used to solve certain problems or related to a real life situation on any subject such as how to send an email how to operate bank accounts, how to use a particular product and so on. Solving this problem will ideally make the students efficient in social life. So uh, by this problem solving method, students develop certain skills which are further utilized in their real life situations. And last one is group work method. This method employs all the student with a task to complete in the form of a group. So this is completely a group work or teamwork. The group or team then sets out to complete the task with the teacher acting as a guide. The role of teacher is again of a guide. This can be as complex as an engineering project that requires different areas of expertise to collaborate on something and as simple as setting up a garden in a school. So a uh, group work method is of complex type or as well as simple type. There are certain characteristics of project method of teaching. First one is a project method involves a specific and achievable goal. So objective is clear in front of the students when this method is implemented in the class. So uh, there is a a specific or a achievable goal in project method. Further, 
Project method includes purposeful and realistic activities that promote learning. So basically, uh, project method involves activities which are practical in nature and not the theoretical. And by uh, doing this method uh, or by utilizing this method, students develop certain skills in themselves. Students further, students are responsible for planning and executing their learning activities. So in this method, all the students learn by their own, by doing certain activities by themselves. Teacher has the secondary role in such types of methods. Project method also emphasizes learning through practical applications. All the skills developed by this project method of teaching certain practical application certain experiments or certain field works are done by the students the project method is designed to enhance learning through play and exploration so this method is very much interesting and engaging for the students it also provides direct and authentic experiences means all the real life experiences are given to the students in such type of method further students work in groups and receive training for collaboration and teamwork which prepares them for future professional settings students become socialized by this method it also encourages students to express themselves freely and fosters spontaneity means by this method of teaching this project method of teaching students develop self confidence their communication skill is very much developed by this method of teaching it also helps to develop practical skills and abilities and the project method is democratic and promotes equality by giving all participants equal rights duties and responsibilities according to their capabilities so uh, project method of teaching is uh, very much important or efficient for teaching learning process now there are certain advantages of project method of teaching project method is itself a very efficient method so first advantage of this project method is active learning experience. The students remain active throughout the uh, plan. The project method emphasizes the concept of learning by doing. The students learn here, the students learn here by doing something. There are so much activities which are performed by students themselves to solve a particular problem. Students actively get involved in the learning activity, hence helping them in enhancing the, their skill set, first-hand experiences and thinking capacity. Decision-making capacity is also developed in the students by this a method of teaching. Incorporating active learning in students' daily lives can be quite helpful in the long run. Second one is inculcating a sense of responsibility. In the project method of teaching, the teacher is a guide and the activities carried out in the class are carried out by students themselves. So they become self-reliant by this uh, method of teaching. This 
has improved self reliance and self responsibility among the students project method helps students learn on their own and develop their own style of learning next one is improves collaboration among students so students become social by uh, this uh, method of teaching since the project method employs a methodology where students work in collaboration with their group it helps students bond with one another on a professional as well as personal level hence making their overall learning experience interesting and insightful it instills in them in the students a sense of cooperation and builds on their social skills immensely so by this method of teaching certain uh, values are also developed in the students so they be, uh, become good citizen and a uh, good citizen in the near future next advantage of project method is to improve communication skill this method helps students to improve their communication skills drastically because students are given the opportunity to express themselves freely among their peers as well as their teachers thus helping them to communicate more effectively so communication power is developed in the students by this method of teaching as they have to discuss certain uh, activities certain things with the teachers as well as their peer group uh, during this teaching learning process next advantage of this project method is to improve critical thinking skills what is critical thinking skill critical thinking skills are 21st century skills that students of all ages need to have in today's time it is something that needs to be cultivated with respect to the future of the students and needs to be dealt with utmost diligence critical thinking skill is very much important to make decisions in uh, in the real life situations so it is very 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 important to develop or to improve this critical thinking skill by certain methods there are lots of advantages of this project method of teaching but the, some of the disadvantages of project method of teaching are first one is time consuming so this method takes too much time as students learn by their own or uh, solve problems by their own so they take lot of time to solve the particular problem teaching students using the project method can be time consuming as there are a lot of things that need to be taken into consideration when teaching using this method such as the students ability to comprehend the subject the speed with which they do so the factual accuracy of the project means the evaluation of the product project and so on there are a lot of factors that need to be observed and duly corrected by the teacher so this is very very time consuming and uh, evaluation is uh, very much difficult uh, uh, in such type of uh, teaching methodologies as there are certain students 
who can uh, not do much in the project method. Some students can do a lot of work and some can't. So average students cannot be judged uh, with such type of teaching. So time consuming is a perfect segue into the next point that is the lack of expert teacher. Evaluation is typical, observation is typical uh, during this uh, project method of teaching. So there is a need of experienced teacher uh, for such type of teaching methodology. This method of teaching can only be conducted by the experienced teacher who have several years of experience which a lot of teachers may not have. This leads to a shortage of teachers and hence incapability to execute this form of teaching effectively. So project method is very good but there are certain conditions as in our country India uh, as population is very large. So this method uh, cannot be implemented with uh, full accuracy but if certain uh, improvement with some uh, certain improvements this method ca can also be implemented uh, in our country also and this is very very much uh, good or efficient method as uh, uh, this method develops uh, uh, lots of skills in the students. One such skill is decision making which is very important uh, for a student in making decisions in uh, real life situations. So again this method is very very important uh, method of teaching. One more disadvantage of uh, this project method of teaching that it is not suitable for all subject. The project method of teaching is more suitable for subject that require practical knowledge. And so subjects such as arts, literature, and so on may not benefit a lot from this form of teaching. But after all, again, this method is uh, very much efficient as it engage or involve students in the teaching learning process completely or we can say that students become independent uh, with such type of teaching methodology as they do all activities by their own. Uh, so again, this is very important method. Uh, thank you.